what's up YouTube it's Devin and today on our military talks I'm gonna talk about leave talk about leave in BMT leave in tech school and leave after the Air Force and BMT sorry this is probably really self-explanatory you're not taking leave thought you were for some stupid reason you're not no it's not happening the only leave you could get is like emergency leave that's if like when your family members die like immediate family members like mom dad brother sister wife son daughter that shit right then they'll be like all right boom you could go home come back later type shit maybe not in bmt i don't think maybe they just like hey you're gonna have to do this all over again type shit i don't know they might be ruthless like that but I know that happens in tech school and the actual Air Force, though, you could get emergency leave for that tech school. This is how it goes. You get your orders to tech school. You get there. You may not start class for like a month, two months, two weeks, a week. It all depends on when the next class picks up, right? So you're going to be doing like CQ and other jobs around the squadron. All right. But you will not be able to take leave. The only time you could take leave is after tech school and then that's like in transit to your uh, permanent duty station. So like me, I didn't do rap and rap is when you get to go back and pretty much get like two, two weeks of free leave where you help out your recruiter and all that stuff back at home, right? I didn't do that because I was like, I'm not trying to work, nah. So I just took two weeks of my own leave and I did what I wanted. So. <clears throat> At my tech school, they made us fill out this paper saying where we were going to go, all right, where we were staying at, what's our route from the airport to there, and then like back to the airport to our final duty station type shit, right? So that's what they had me do. And then when you finally get to your permanent duty station, requesting leave is so much easier, all right? It's just so, so much easier. Like, in my shop, I'm not a maintainer. We all know this. You look at my job in the Air Force. I'm not a maintainer, right? I'm what the maintainers, I'm what the maintainers would call a noner. That's what I am. Proud to be one. I don't want to be a fucking maintainer. Working stupid ass hours all the damn time. Nah, that's not me. But anyways, for us noners, it's easy for us to take leave. Like, in my shop, it is encouraged for us to take leave. They pretty much don't say no. And the only time they will say no to me taking leave is if uh, there is something that is mission critical going on, like, I can't even think of it. Also taking leave after, <clears throat> also taking leave at your permanent duty station, it has to be approved by your supervisor first and then like your NCOIC or someone higher up, you know, like my captain would have to approve it, my shop lead, you know, someone up there above my supervisor. So they would have to, both of those people would have to then approve my leave. You are not allowed to leave your base before you get your approved leave number. All right. They'll send you an email and they'll be like, yo, you better not leave. And then they'll send you that email and they'll be like, all right, fam, you can go. Here's your number. And then super easy, you do your thing. But now, here is something that is super, super, super important. Do not, and I mean do not, ever, 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 say you're going to take leave, like, mm, Las Vegas, and really go to New Jersey. Don't ever do that. Don't do it. Because if you get caught doing that, like some chick, she just got caught doing that and she got kicked out of the Air Force. Yep, got kicked out of the Air Force for that. Mm -hmm. You do not want to do that. That is something you never want to do. But what you do is what you do. I'm just here to give you the advice. And that's leave in the Air Force. Pretty simple, easy. Again, you can't take leave in BMT. You can't take leave in tech school, but you can take leave in transit from tech school to your duty station and you could do rap or you could do rap and leave it's all up to you really once you get to your duty station leave is so easy from my perspective I've heard that maintainers may get it harder because you know they're more mission critical they're working on the aircraft all this so 
yeah but for my job it's a lot easier anyways that was leave you got any questions on this or you want me to do a specific video for y'all just let me know don't be afraid to ask no questions on here anyways this is Devin and I'm out